During the King Charles recent hospital procedure for benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concern was noted. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer. His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public facing duties. Throughout this period, His Majesty will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork as usual. The King is grateful to his medical team for their swift intervention, which was made possible thanks to his recent hospital procedure. As stated from the palace, he remains wholly positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. His Majesty has chosen to share his diagnosis to prevent speculation and in the hope it may assist public understanding for all those around the world who are affected by cancer. Over the weekend, King Charles was photographed waving after he and Queen Camilla attended a church service in Sandringham, Norfolk, marking his first public appearance since being discharged from the London clinic last Monday. He has since travelled from Sandringham to London to begin treatment as an outpatient and is now at his palace in London. Wishing His Majesty a full and speedy recovery. I have no doubt he'll be back to full strength in no time and I know the whole country will be wishing him well, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said on Twitter. The King is said to have informed both his sons, William and Harry, personally about his diagnosis and Prince William is in regular contact with his father. Prince Harry, who lives in the US, has spoken to his father and plans to travel to the UK to see him in the coming days. Charles became king in September 2022 when his mother Queen Elizabeth II died at the age of 96. News of the king's diagnosis comes as his daughter-in-law Kate, Princess of Wales, recovers from abdominal surgery that saw her hospitalized for about two weeks.